Before we solve absolute value inequalities, let's review a couple of foundational ideas. First of all, if you multiply or divide both sides of an inequality by a negative number, you have to flip the inequality sign to maintain a true statement. Here's an example. If we have the inequality negative 2x is less than or equal to 8 and we want to solve for the x, we'll have to divide both sides by the negative 2. Because we've divided by a negative number, we have to reverse the direction of the inequality sign to keep a true statement. So our solution is x is greater than or equal to negative 4. Our second foundational idea has to do with the meaning of absolute value. We need to think of absolute value as a distance from zero. If we're asked to solve this equation, the absolute value of x equals 7, what we're being asked is what numbers are a distance of 7 from zero on the number line? Well, there are two numbers that are a distance of 7 from 0, negative 7 and positive 7. So the solution to the absolute value equation is that x is either negative 7 or positive 7. We can extend the idea of absolute value being a distance from 0 when we have an absolute value inequality. For the absolute value of x is greater than 7, we're asking ourselves what numbers are a distance more than 7 units from 0 on the number line. Well, those numbers would either be to the left of negative 7 or to the right of positive 7. So the solution to the inequality is x is less than negative 7 or x is greater than positive 7. For the inequality the absolute value of x is less than 7, we're being asked for all the numbers that are a distance of less than 7 units from 0 on the number line. Those numbers are between negative 7 and positive 7. So our solution is that negative 7 is less than x, which is less than 7. Now let's use those foundational ideas to solve and graph the solution to the absolute value of 4x plus 2 is greater than 22. The absolute value inequality is telling us we're looking for numbers that are more than 22 units from 0 on the number line, and those numbers are being described by 4x plus 2. So we know that 4x plus 2 is either less than negative 22, in other words, to the left of negative 22, or those numbers 4x plus 2 are greater than positive 22, in other words, to the right of 22. We'll need to do the same steps to solve both inequalities, so let's just do the steps at the same time for the two inequalities. For both of them, we'll subtract 2 from both sides of the inequality, which leads us to 4x is less than negative 24 or 4x is greater than 20. To isolate the x on the left side of the inequality, we'll have to divide both sides of the inequality by 4. Since we're dividing both sides by a number, we need to ask ourselves, are we dividing by a negative number? And the answer is no, so the inequality signs will remain pointing the same direction. And finally, we have our solution. Either x is less than negative 6, or x is greater than 5. Now we can graph the solution on a number line. x is less than negative 6 is all the numbers to the left of negative 6, and x is greater than 5 is all the numbers to the right of 5. Here's our next example. Solve and graph the solution to the absolute value of 2x plus 5 is less than 17. Now we have an absolute value less than a number, which means the distance from 0 has to be within two values, either negative 17 or positive 17. So negative 17 is less than 2x plus 5, which is less than positive 17. We now have an inequality in three parts, so the steps that we follow to isolate the x in the middle part will have to do to the left part and the right part at the same time. We'll start by subtracting 5 from all three parts. 
which gives us negative 22, is less than 2x, which is less than 12. To isolate the x, we'll have to divide all three parts by 2. Now we need to ask ourselves, are we dividing by a negative number? And the answer is no, we're dividing by a positive number. So the inequality signs will remain pointed in the same directions they started. Finally, we'll simplify to give us negative 11 is less than x, which is less than 6. In other words, all the numbers that make our inequality true are between negative 11 and positive 6. Now let's solve and graph the solution to the absolute value of 3 minus 2x is less than 7. Like the last problem, this is telling us that we're looking at something that is a distance within 7 units of 0. So the 3 minus 2x has to be between negative 7 and positive 7. To isolate the x in the middle, we'll start by subtracting 3 from all three parts, which leads us to negative 10 is less than negative 2x, which is less than 4. Now we need to divide all three parts by negative 2. And because we're dividing everything by a number, we need to think about whether what we're dividing by is negative. This time it is. So in order to maintain a true inequality, we have to reverse the direction of our inequality signs. So our solution is that 5 is greater than x, which is greater than negative 2. In other words, all of our solutions for x have to be between negative 2 and positive 5. Now let's look at two last problems that have some surprising solutions. Solve and graph the solution to the absolute value of 5x plus 1 is less than negative 3. Remember, absolute value is a distance from 0. And this equation says we're looking for numbers that have a distance from 0 that's less than negative 3. We don't measure distance in negative values. So to say an absolute value, a distance, is smaller than negative 3 doesn't make any sense. So there's no numbers that will make this inequality true. We can also say that the solution is the empty set. And a graph of the solution would simply be a number line with nothing on it. Here's our second problem with a surprise answer. Solve and graph the solution. The absolute value of 5x plus 1 is greater than negative 3. Absolute value is a distance from 0. So we're looking for something that has a distance from 0 that's greater than negative 3. Well, every distance is a positive unit or 0 which means this is always going to be a true statement. Distance will always be bigger than negative 3. Every value for x will make this true, so we can say that the solution is all real numbers. In other words, every number on the number line would make this inequality true.